on the gains, at least to the index level, while the mid-cap index continues with its rally of 1.8%. So let's find out what the mood is in the dealing room. And Nimesh, I guess it would be quite optimistic when you've got an advanced decline ratio of 13 stocks in the green for just two in the red. But you know, before you tell us at the index level and you know the sectoral outlook, what are people saying on the auto stocks? They've had a bad run. The numbers have looked good, have looked quite weak. Um, are they talking about perhaps the sector has bottomed out? Well, you know, uh, Rima, it, uh, on the on the autos, uh, well, the numbers were bad, but it was expected. So most of the numbers were pretty much priced in. If you look at Bajaj Auto, Hero Honda, even Aisha Motor, look at the rally in the Aisha Motor stock after today's fall. You know, to some extent, it was priced in. So these at these levels, most of the auto news, whether positive or negative, are priced in, in the numbers. From here on, uh, you know, there is no one believes that right now there is going to be an immediate change in terms of uh, you know uh, volumes pick up or or fundamental anything changing for for the auto names at least in the near term. But everybody is now hoping that maybe you know two one quarter down the line or maybe four or five months down the line you will see a bit of pickup coming up and maybe that's the reason why you know that explains the kind of pullback you are seeing in in most of the auto names because they are so beaten down like Ashok Leyland had gone all the way to uh, 78 rupees your your uh, uh, you know Aisha Motors has fallen from 36,000 to all the way to 20 almost 19,500 today so most of the most of the news either positive or negative is largely priced in uh, you know in the auto names what you are seeing today is largely a pullback from such an over oversold position. That you're seeing, you know, the, this kind of rallies in the in the auto names. But that's been the case, Rima, with all the stocks. If you look at the mid cap, small cap, the mid cap index in the last one week has been the most outperforming index in the in the last in the last six months. So, and and, and if you remember, you know, Rima, uh, in in February when we did Uday Kodak interview, he was the first to point out that maybe maybe for this year the the the, the bad news is priced in, in the mid cap and small cap index. The way the, the stocks had fallen, the individual stocks had fallen, the indices have fallen. He was the first to put out a, a, a bold call that, you know, maybe he feels this is a year when maybe one should look to buy mid cap and small cap because most of the news is bad news is priced in. And what I'm sensing even from the dealing room is in the at least in the last one week there is there is some bit of belief now that the mid cap and small cap will do well at least you know some bit of money is getting getting deployed to the mid cap and small cap index whether at the individual stock level or at the indices level so there is some bit of momentum now picking up in the mid cap and small cap just to add to this Rima last week I believe some of the larger investors the so called uh, super HNIs met in Bombay and the general feedback was given the way the developments have been happening in the last one week ten days uh, since the since the terror attack the general belief is that maybe this government will be back into power in 2019 maybe that is also you know helping a bit into the mid cap and small cap given that you know all the stocks the index itself was so beaten down uh, a, a pullback and typically you'll see you know this kind of short covering rallies do look very fancy and very sexy on, on at least on the on the on the margin mm -hmm. only after a while you'll you'll probably will have to wait and see as to how this pan out but as things stand you know if it, not only for today's trade for the last one week you're seeing the breadth improving in the mid cap and small cap people have started talking about mid cap small caps now even in the dealing room i get a sense that yes there are some hnis who are looking to bet into some mid caps and small cap stocks so generally the momentum is towards mid cap and small cap and trend that trend is likely to continue at least and and remember you know till the march end even that is a factor to play out. You know, mm -hmm. closer to the march, and you'll see the, some bit of book adjustments, and and slightly you normally you see the mid cap and small cap outperform closer to the march. In. Okay, basically, how's the Josh? It is very high, sir. At least as far as the <laughs> mid cap market is concerned. Thanks, the mage, so much for that.